Chris Orsini here, Director of Technology with Keller Williams East Boca Raton. Um, today I wanted to go over how to uh, connect and create your DocuSign account. Now I first want to thank Brooke Sims here for letting me uh, use her account here uh, and set her up. Thank you, Brooke. So first off, we're going to log into Command. Once we are, we want to click on our name in the top right corner and click Settings. Now, once we're in settings, you'll see we have DocuSign here. And if you have not uh, created and connected your account, it will tell you to connect account here. Now, if you already have a DocuSign account, uh, you're going to want to call up DocuSign and ask them to switch it over uh, to a Rooms account so that you can connect to uh, Command with your account. Um, so Brooke does not have a current DocuSign oh, account, man. so we're going to click Connect Account. Uh, it's going to auto-populate first and last name, and email address. So I'm going to ask to send the registration email. Um, and this will send an email to go and activate uh, this account. So I'm going to check in her email. All right, and you'll see she has received this email, and you would click Accept Invite in the yellow here. And then it's going to prompt you to create a uh, to, to create a password. So uh, security question. Um, now she's going to go in and change these later on. So my password was not unique enough. So. All right, so then we're going to accept the agreement. And now we have our DocuSign account. Now it's not done just yet. We still have to authorize the account. So we can go ahead and close out of this and come back here and you'll see we have the uh, email address there and now we just need to authorize uh, the connection. So this is telling uh, DocuSign that, hey, it's okay to uh, send documents over to command and this is how we're going to submit to compliance. So I clicked authorize and now it's loading. It's going to pop open with this and we're gonna just put in the password for our DocuSign account that we just created. We're going to accept the terms. And we're now connected. It's going to tell you here we've connected. And so then we can go into opportunities. Go into any opportunity that we have created or go ahead and create one and click documents. And now we're going to find a start transaction button at the top right. Loading now. Once we click start a transaction, this is going to take us into docu into a DocuSign room. So a room would be uh, equivalent to what you're used to calling uh, a loop with dot loop. Um, so it's going to be specifically for uh, the uh, this specific transaction. So now once you're in here, you want to click add DocuSign forms, and you're going to need to enter in your NRDS ID. I'm going to go over and get Brooks. I'm going to put this NRDS ID in here, and then we're going to choose our association for here. It's Florida Association of Realtors. Click Save, and that's you'll only have to do that once. Um, now, if your uh, market center has created groups, you can uh, choose the groups here. Um, for now, we'll just click Library, and now in the libraries, we'll, we'll be able to find our Florida Association of Realtor forms, and they're all right here. Uh, we can search for them if we need to. Um, select it, add it, and then do what we need, we need to with these forms. Uh, I'll be doing further videos on uh, DocuSign as well as opportunities. So please uh, follow me 
on KW Connect. Uh, subscribe on uh, on YouTube and follow me on Facebook where I'll be posting these as well. Have a great day. Thank you.